What is up, Titans or patrollers or okay so dc universe update here <laughs> what is up guys uh welcome to a brand new video and today we are talking about a few updates because i haven't made a little titans or you know dc universe update in a couple of weeks or so now and we've got quite a bit of information to talk about and i'll be going by the most recent one so we're talking doom patrol because obviously brendan Fraser, if you didn't know already uh will be coming to doom patrol but we'll get to that in a second and then we've got the casting for cyborg in doom patrol which is javan wade and we'll also get to that but also some other titans information which includes the possible costume for Nightwing uh, for the end of season one which many many people were speculating but it seems there's an exclusive story uh, that some people were saying that there yeah, we're definitely getting that and we get a bit of information on the suit but before we get to that guys be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with everything in the DC universe and also be sure to leave a like on this video as it really 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 does help out the channel. So the first thing I want to talk about is Brendan Fraser coming to Doom Patrol uh, as Robot Man. And I'm actually really happy about this. I know there's a lot of memes and stuff like that on the internet about Brendan Fraser, but like, I always loved him as a kid growing up. Like, I'm sure I many of us did. And then, obviously, he, he was in a few bad movies, uh, which, you know, wasn't really his fault at all. And then, like, ever since then he hasn't really caught a big break he's been in a few things here and there but if you if you've just been like seeing him across the years in interviews and stuff like that you can really see how affected and, and how i don't know i don't know the guy personally but it seems like he wasn't like who he once was where you know you saw him like popping full of life um uh, when he was younger and and then like as things went on it, it was kind of sad to see uh, somebody l seemingly look so sad and now I feel like, you know, the comic book industry and everything like that is the big thing these days. We, we, I don't need to tell you that. You guys know all of that. So I think he must be really happy to land a role like Robot Man. Now, the thing is, a lot of people are getting confused because originally somebody else was playing Robot Man, but we'll get to that in a second because I want to read out uh, a few para a couple of paragraphs uh, from the deadline report, you know reporting all of it. So the article guys is as follows. Exclusive. Brendan Fraser has been cast as one of the leads, Robot Man slash Cliff Steele in DC Universe's upcoming live action series Doom Patrol from Greg Berlanti and Warner Bros TV. A former race car driver, Cliff Steele was in a horrific accident that left his body uninhabitable. Cliff's brain was saved by the mysterious Dr. Niles Calder, and he lives on in a powerful robotic body. Frazier will provide the voiceover for Robot Man and will appear in the flashback scenes as Cliff Steele. Riley Shanahan, I hope I didn't butcher that, has also been cast in the role of Robot Man. He will provide the physical performance of the character on stage in full body costume. And the thing is, just like Javan Wade, uh, who has been cast for Cyborg as well, but this is a slightly, slightly kind of recently old news um he really looks the part like there's already been mock-ups of him on cyborg and you know on top of his you know acting ability i'm not mega personal with his work but obviously he was in the first purge recently and he's been quite a few other things before that um brendan Fraser is is really like looking the part of robot man um obviously he's not gonna be the physical performance as i just read out from the deadline report uh but i I, I, that doesn't really matter so much to me because obviously it's Robot Man. I'm intrigued to see how they'll do him on screen anyway. But I think Brendan Fraser has kind of landed the more important role here because he will be doing the flashbacks as Cliff Steele. Uh, you know, he will be playing... The, the and and portraying the guy before he was freaking his brain was taken out and put into this robot body you know re being rebuilt um so that 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 i'm really happy for him i don't know what else to say i wish the guy the the best of luck with this role and and, and i'm i don't know i just hope this brings him more success in the future and i hope that it's just not limited to like a few flashback scenes we'll see through uh maybe in the first episode or two of robot man or whatever and i hope they just don't cast him aside i mean i know he's still going to be like the voiceover for robot man but i hope they continue to you know just like i don't know if they, it gets to season two and stuff like that more character development there might be more flashbacks uh to brendan frazier's cliff Steele, and so on and so forth but i would love to know what you guys think of this down in the comments below as for uh joe van wade um for cyborg I, i've already said I, I really like the casting for that don't know really much more to say about that um i'm just really looking forward to see what goes on there in terms of cyborg on doom patrol but anyway as for these two in terms of doom patrol let me know your thoughts down in the comments below 
But yeah, bottom line, very, very, very happy for Brendan Fraser. He, I would, I would just love to see him make a massive comeback somehow. So guys, moving on to Titans, and this could be some, potentially some very good information for a lot of you fans of Nightwing out there, because supposedly, according to SuperBrosMovies.com, they've got this exclusive story that Dick Grayson will become Nightwing in season one of Titans. Now, personally, I think we all thought this was going to happen because, um, well, just. Yeah, I, f I felt like it was fairly obvious. It would have kind of been a little bit of a letdown if he didn't. Um, I don't know. I just feel like we all expected that Daredevil season one, you know, uh, the Marvel Netflix Daredevil uh, getting the suit at the end. Uh, but at least he still gets a kick-ass Robin suit in the meantime, eh? With articles like this, uh, obviously take it with a grain of salt. But we've had similar articles with Titans from a s with a different website, granted. But, um, you know, I feel like there is a little bit of mirror of truth. So we'll have to wait and see. But as I just said as well, I feel like this has been fairly obvious that he would get it. But let's get straight into the report. But also in terms of Titans, um, I just wanted to address the fact that a lot of people are saying that it might be uh, delayed. Or like, you know, there's rumor going around that um, Titans might not be coming out straight away. Or the DC Universe, you know, etc, etc. Uh, this could be true because uh, Minky Kelly, uh, yet yeah, this is kind of normal at the same time, has been putting on, I think, her Instagram story of her like in the booth uh, doing dubs for like uh, Titans for obviously her role as Dove. Dove, Dove, Dove. My brain. Obviously, this is perfectly normal to go back in and like dub over some scenes, but at the same time, with it meant to be coming out, like supposedly originally around next month ish. Um, I don't know, that's quite a, I don't know, checking it all in at once. So maybe it will be slightly pushed back, but we're going to have to wait and see. But just so you guys are aware, she is still doing stuff, and I'm sure other actors are and actresses um, for the, you know, the dubbing side of things and polishing it over. But anyway. Into the article. Richard Dick Grayson is set to get an upgrade on DC Titans and he'll be trading in his Robin suit for something more fitting. We've exclusively learned that he'll be taking on the persona of Nightwing in the first season of the show. Brenton Freights is set to portray Dick Grayson aka Robin and he'll be using that alias for most of the season. However, he's going to move on to the next stage of his superhero career before the season ends. Taking on the role of Nightwing, he will have a new comic accurate suit that will please fans of the character. Character. Don't worry, he'll be using his classic Eskrim mistakes as his main weapons of choice. The only thing up for speculation is his suit colour, which will be black with either blue or red trimming, the former being most likely. If you're afraid the suit will be disappointing, fear not, expect the same amount of care put into the Robin suit in the Nightwing one. Fun fact, the suit was among some of the costumes department's favourite designs. So if this exclusive story is true, and I'm not saying it isn't, but I'm not saying it is, but I'm... I'm, I'm guessing that it is because I trust that it is uh, because it was very obvious I think that he would be coming, uh, becoming Nightwing. But the fact that um, if they really have got this scoop and, you know, they've learned that it is some of the costume department's my favorite one, even above the Robin one and stuff like that. Um, and, and Nightwing, I think, is their kind of, you know, uh, main piece they want to play on the chessboard in terms of all of this. That's why they showed, uh, you know, Robin's costume and everything like that first and everyone received that very well. It doesn't surprise me that the Nightwing costume is still, if not more, kick-ass than the Robin costume. And that just makes me very, 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 very hype. Other than that, in this article, that is mainly the, the gist of it. They do go on to say that there are, you know, uh, for each Titan spin-offs on the table, Nightwing being the most likely one, if there is one. But obviously, they also go and say, uh, you know, don't count on that anytime soon, obviously, until Titans is released in terms of an announcement, uh, which is very interesting. I hadn't actually thought of that. Um, if Titans is obviously very, imagine if it was insanely successful, but at the, at the minute it's quite, uh, controversial and everyone is kind of apprehensive ever since that trailer. I personally loved most of it, uh, but a lot of people had a problem with, you know, many parts. Um, and I'm not going to get into that. Uh, but obviously, um, if it was insanely, insanely, insanely popular, then it would be very weird of DC to not be like, oh, okay, let's get a Nightwing solo uh, thing going there. Because obviously, Titans is Titans, but obviously these characters and these heroes, as we know from the comics, have very much their own story, especially if Nightwing's, you know, a part of his own thing now. He's left Batman as Robin, and he's going to be Robin throughout this series, and he's going to be Nightwing. As for the specifics of the costume, I really do want it to be blue rather than red. Red would look cool. Maybe they could change that up in season two, and then he might go back to blue. Maybe he might have two freaking suits. I don't know, but I would prefer the blue. 
Um, blue on black, obviously. Um, what would you guys prefer? Would you prefer that or would you prefer red? Um, I would love to know your thoughts down in the comments below and be sure to let me know everything you thought on what I spoke about today. But anyway, guys, if you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. And if you're brand new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with more DC nerdy information and videos just like this, why not subscribe? Links, as always, are in the description down below uh, to my social media where you can stay a little bit more up to date with me personally, as well as Patreon and things like that. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Um, I guess that's it. So I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.